हेलो व्यूअर्स इन टूडेज क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस येट अनदर इम्पॉर्टेंट एंड वेरी कॉन्सेप्चुअल प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम डिफ्रेंशियबिलिटी ऑफ फंक्शन राइट एंड हेयर वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एंड कॉन्सेप्चुअल प्रॉब्लम एंड विल डिस्कस द डिफ्रेंशियबिलिटी ऑफ दिस फंक्शन दैट इज एफ ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू ग्रेटेस्ट इंटीजियर ऑफ एक्स टाइम्स साइन ऑफ पाई एक्स एट एक्स इज इक्वल टू टू right so we'll see uh, whether this function is differentiable uh, at x is equal to 2 or not right so for this uh, what we will do i uh, will first find the right hand derivative and then we'll find out the left hand derivative right and then we'll see uh, whether uh, the right hand uh, derivative and the left hand derivative uh, at x is equal to 2 are equal or not right so let us start so now uh, let us first find out the left hand derivative right now uh, see uh, we know that the definition of left hand derivative is given by this limit right that is limit h tends to 0 and we have f of a minus h minus f of a Uh, divided by minus h right so this is the definition of a uh, left hand derivative right and here uh, this h is a positive quantity and uh, uh, it is greater than 0 right so here uh, this uh, point a is 2 uh, right so here we have a is equal to 2 so now uh, if we uh, substitute the value of uh, A is equal to two, then uh, we'll get limit h tends to zero, and we have f of two minus h minus f of two uh, divided by minus h, right? So now f of two minus h can be obtained by replacing x by two minus h, right? And f of two can be obtained by replacing x by two, right? So now, so now we can a uh, right a uh, limit h tends to 0 and uh, here we have f of 2 minus h so we can now write here greatest integer of uh, 2 minus h and then we have sin of uh, pi times 2 minus h right and for f of 2 we can uh, write greatest integer of 2 and sin of uh, here we'll take 2 uh, so we have pi times 2 right and here we have uh, minus h right okay now see uh, will uh, here will uh, assign the values of uh, uh, greatest integer of 2 minus h and greatest integer of 2 right so when we calculate this uh, limit then we cannot directly substitute h is equal to 0 uh, inside this greatest integer function symbol right so what we will do we'll uh, assign a value to greatest integer of 2 minus h and greatest integer of uh, this 2 uh, right so from the definition of greatest integer function we know that the greatest integer of uh, integers is simply integers right so we have greatest integer of n is equal to n uh, when n belongs to the set of integers right now see here we have greatest integer of 2 minus h now see h is a positive quantity right and it is greater than 0 so 2 minus h is slightly it is the less than 2 uh, right because h is positive when we subtract h from 2 then 2 minus h this difference is slightly less than 2 but it is greater than 1 so from the definition of greatest integer function the greatest integer of 2 minus h must be equal to a 1 right so here uh, we can now write limit h tends to 0 greatest integer of 2 minus h is 1 so here we have 1 then we have sign uh, 2 pi minus uh, here we'll have uh, pi h right and now greatest integer of 2 is simply 2 so here we have 2 times sin of 2 pi 
and divided by minus h right now we have to calculate this limit right now see a uh, sign of uh, 2 pi is equal to 0 right because we know that sign of n pi is equal to 0 uh, whenever n belongs to the set of integers right so now this quantity is 0 right and now here we have a sign of uh, 2 pi minus uh, pi h right so from trigonometry uh, we know that uh, sine of 2 pi minus theta is equal to negative of sine of theta right because this angle that is 2 pi minus theta it lies in the uh, fourth quadrant right and in the fourth quadrant uh, sine function is negative right so sine 2 pi minus theta is equal to minus sine theta so here a uh, sine 2 pi minus pi h for theta we have now pi h so we have minus of sine of uh, pi h right so now this limit can be written as the limit and here we have h tends to 0 and sine 2 pi minus pi h is uh, a negative of sine of pi h and this quantity is 0 and here we have minus h now this negative and this negative get cancelled and we are left with the limit h tends to 0 and we have sine pi h uh, divided by h right now in order to calculate this limit we'll again take help of some standard limit right now see we know that limit theta tends to 0 when theta is very small then sine theta over theta is equal to 1 right and here we have the angle pi h so what we will do uh, we will uh, multiply the numerator by pi and uh, we'll divide the uh, this uh, uh, fraction by pi right so here we'll write pi here also we'll write pi so now uh, when h tends to 0 then pi h must tend to 0 right so now this limit can be written as we can take this pi outside the limit notation so we have pi and limit uh, pi h tends to 0 and here we have sine pi h uh, divided by pi h right so from uh, this result we have uh, this limit is equal to 1 so now we have pi times 1 that is equal to pi right so the left hand derivative of this function at x is equal to 2 is equal to a uh, pi so viewers uh, here we have obtained the left hand derivative is equal to pi at x is equal to 2 now let us find out the right hand derivative so the definition of right hand derivative is given by this limit that is limit h tends to 0 and here we have f of a plus h minus f of a uh, divided by h right so now we can write limit h tends to 0 here we have f of 2 plus h because a is 2 and uh, here we have f of 2 divided by h right and similarly uh, we have here f of 2 plus h so uh, f of 2 plus h can be obtained by replacing x by 2 plus h and f of 2 is uh, obtained by taking x is equal to 2 in the function right so now we have here greatest integer of 2 plus h then we have sine of pi and here we have 2 plus h and f of 2 is greatest integer of 2 and the sine of pi times 2 divided by h right okay so now we can simplify this limit so now see uh, here we have greatest integer of 2 plus h right so here again i uh, will make use of the definition of a uh, greatest integer function so now see uh, here uh, greatest integer of uh, 2 plus h and uh, here uh, greatest integer of 2 is simply 2 right now see h is a positive quantity right 
and h is greater than 0. So 2 plus h when h is added to 2 then 2 plus h is slightly greater than 2 but it is less than 3. Right. So the greatest integer of 2 plus h is having the value uh, simply 2. Right. By definition of greatest integer function. Right. So now a greatest integer of 2 plus h is 2 and here we have the sign of uh, 2 pi plus pi h and here uh, this quantity that is sine of 2 pi is 0 so greatest integer of 2 is 2 and sine 2 pi is 0 right because uh, sine n pi is equal to 0 for n belonging to set of integers and here we have h right okay now here we have sine of 2 pi plus pi h and here again we'll take help of uh, some trigonometry right now see uh, we know from trigonometry that sine of uh, 2 pi plus theta is equal to sine of theta right so here we have positive sign because this angle 2 pi plus theta it lies in the first quadrant and in the first quadrant uh, all the trigonometric functions are positive and so is uh, uh, sin theta, right? So now uh, this limit is the limit h tends to zero and here we have two times the sine of uh, pi h, right? And in the denominator we have h and this quantity is equal to zero, right? And again we'll follow the same steps as we have done in uh, finding out the left hand derivative so limit h tends to 0 and here we have 2 sine pi h uh, divided by uh, pi h and here we'll uh, compensate this pi with uh, multiplying the numerator by pi right so now here uh, this expression is again of this form that is sine theta over theta right so limit theta tends to 0 sine theta over theta is 1 right so when h tends to 0 then uh, pi h uh, tends to 0 right so now uh, this limit can be written as uh, taking this 2 pi uh, outside the limit notation so we have uh, 2 pi outside and here we have limit h tends to 0 sine uh, pi h uh, divided by pi h now this limit is 1 right so we have 2 pi times 1 that is uh, 2 pi right so the right hand derivative of this function is uh, 2 pi right so viewers from this uh, discussion uh, we have arrived at the result that uh, the left hand derivative is pi and the right hand derivative is 2 pi right so although the left hand derivative is finite and the right hand derivative is also finite right but uh, both the derivatives are not equal right so the left hand derivative is not equal to the right hand derivative that is uh, pi is not equal to 2 pi so we can claim that uh, this function is not differentiable at x is equal to 2. So viewers this is how we can uh, discuss or we can uh, test the differentiability of functions right. So when the right hand derivative and the left hand derivative are not equal then we can say that the function or the given function is not differentiable at the given point.